Hello, welcome back. Today uh, we're going to try to get as much efficiency as it possible from this uh, half inch, I'm sorry, half horsepower uh, uh, motor. It's right here. That's that's this motor. So we got an 8 inch aluminum whisk disc uh, with magnets attached to it. Uh, we got some copper bars on the top of it, about half inch, a little bit more than that. I mean the bars are located half inch above the magnets, so we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna generate some heat there. Um, on the right side, right here, that's a, that's a small uh, 12 volt circulating fan, inline circulating fan. This will blow the air over the copper bars and hopefully we're gonna get uh, a lot more hot air coming over here. This is about 200, 230 CFM, six inch exhaust, inline exhaust fan. So uh, we're gonna, we know the CFMs and pretty soon in the, uh, when we turn it on we're gonna know the uh, the temperature rise and we can calculate how much how much BTUs we are getting out of this uh, half horsepower motor because we know right now the half, half horsepower motor pulls uh, about 350 let's say 400 uh, 400 watts of energy then we can calculate it to uh, BTUs. Each watt, each each watt is equal to uh, three point four one uh, BTUs. So basically, out of the, the out of the plug, we're getting about uh, let's say for easy math fourteen hundred one thousand four hundred BTUs, and hopefully because of the magnets and the spin we can generate some extra heat and also I forgot to mention we're gonna be using the heat generated by the motor itself and that's why that's why this this fan is located over here so basically there's an opening at the, at the bottom of this duct that's a basically that's a duct 12 by 8 kept from both sides at the end of this, uh, at the end of this uh, duct right here, there's a cap. In this cap, I have an opening, six-inch opening. Basically, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to use that heat generated by that motor. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pull the air this way. There's an opening. The air, the you know, the cold air will go through the hot motor, get some heat out of it. Plus, we're gonna generate some heat on those uh, copper bars. This will help to get the heat out of them, and hopefully we'll get much more higher temperature on this side. And just like I mentioned, uh, we can uh, easily calculate the BDUs after you know after we turn it on. This is like a temperature probe, so uh, this is uh, powered from uh, another source. This is this is right here. This is a sensor, so this shows us the temperature right here of that sensor. So. Uh, that's it, I guess. Uh, let me close it up because it has to be closed in order for uh, uh, for the motor to get proper cooling. So let me close it up, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. All right, we're ready to go. Let me turn turn it on, and uh, we'll see what happens.
the decision has been made to change the position of the fan and also I added one more fan on the left side this is like a small computer fan about 5-10 watts of power and uh, we'll see we'll see what's gonna happen now as you can see we were able to heat up the, te the air temperature to about 82 maybe 83 degrees uh, so let me turn that gives us a temperature rise of almost uh, 14 degrees let me turn it off and uh, let's let's do the math 